I would like to show you how easy it is to generate a custom font icon for your React Native project uh, uh, you, by using React Native vector icons or Expo vector icons. Uh, I'll be using uh, uh, Drip Icons, which is a free and open source project by Amit, and it offers a bunch of uh, line icons that are really useful for your project. And if you go to, to Drip Icons uh, repository, uh, there is a web font section. Uh, in order to generate a, a custom font icon uh, using React Native Vector Icons, uh, you'll, have, you'll need to have a CSS file that contains uh, all the uh, icon declaration uh, in it and the uh, font uh, file itself uh, and so let's uh, let's go to to our vs code in in our project and uh, start by first install the expo vector icons if you're using expo otherwise react native vector icons should be a good fit for you uh, after this is finished let's uh, let's go and grab the uh, web font the CSS uh, for it and go to, to terminal again, go to your assets folder and uh, get the CSS. Also, don't forget to um, rename web font to drip icons for, uh, for the reference and also get the file, the font file itself, the TTF. Um, Okay, so now that everything we have the the CSS, the TTF, and also the vector icons uh, package, uh, we have uh, in our node modules uh, generate icon binary a file that we can run, and it uh, it's mandatory to pass the CSS um, file and also the prefix of the uh, classes used uh, that are used in, in the CSS, in our case is drip icons dash. And uh, the font family that we are also going to load async using, uh, using Expo and the output of uh, the output, uh, the component output. Uh, that we are going to reference in our code in order to render the icon. So let's uh, let's uh, hit enter and generate the drip icons component. By default, it's going to use React Native vector icons. So because we are in Expo, we need to reference the vector icons here. Um, and as you can see, we have all the glyph map here and. Uh, is going to export uh, the the create icon set, uh, and again because we are in in Expo environment, uh, we cannot reference uh, font uh, files uh, directly here, and so we need to load them async. So let's do it now, and remove create uh, the the TTF uh, from the create icon set, and move to your uh, root. Uh, component and uh, import the font from uh, Expo and in in your component let's apply state uh, fonts loaded or font fonts loaded which is false by default and make the component did mount an async method and await for font uh, to load async and here we have uh, the the drip icons which is uh, uh, which is a the which is a file from assets uh, drip icons v2 ttf and let me also remove it uh, the naming is super important because as you can see here in when we create a, a, an icon set we specify a name this name should be mapped to to the uh, name of the uh, uh, file that we would like to load using uh, font uh, from expo and so after this is finished 
we can uh, say that fonts loaded is true and in render uh, if the fonts uh, if the fonts are not loaded just return uh, waiting for fonts um, now let's render the fonts uh, I'll be using the uh, flat list and also don't forget to import uh, the drip icons from uh, drip icons um, let's uh, get rid of everything from the renderer from now and in flat list we will need uh, data and a number of columns let's say for for now and a render item which is going to be uh, render item for now and the data is going to be the keys from uh, this glyph we will uh, create a key and uh, icon name so we will uh, iterate over it and so it's drip icons uh, glyph map and we will get the name and return a key which is the name and also the name and in the render item we will uh, receive the item and we will uh, return a drip icon the name is going to be let's also destructure more the name uh, the size is going to be 42 and the color is going to be 333 let's say um, and let's save this and we have all the icons already rendered for us okay so now make this uh, prettier and um, also add the the name of the the icon that can be used so in in uh, our case will be let's read the render item into a view and also apply add the the name here um, and add the uh, uh, icon wrapper and also and get rid of this because we're not using it and I can name for the wrapper we will use flex on and align items to the center and for the text we will use a font size of 14 or maybe I think that yeah it should be good <coughs> we can also see the the name of the icons um, I think that we can also decrease the phone the the size of the icon just a little and uh, make only three per row and uh, for for each item also let's uh, let's apply a margin bottom of uh, 20 to make it uh, even nicer and uh, add a safe area view import safe area view from react native and wrap the flat list in a safe area view so we will have the uh, paddings and everything uh, around the the flat list thanks for watching guys and if you like it uh, don't don't forget to hit uh, subscribe uh, if you have any comments feel free to to leave one uh, and i'll be happy to help you out uh, see you in the next video